Hi, in this video we're going to show you a free tool you could use to block specific programs from being able to be run by anyone on the computer. And you could also use it to block certain programs from accessing the internet. So it's a program called, simply enough, Program Blocker. So once you download the zip file and extract it, you just run the executable like so. Okay, so then you just have to find the executable to add to the list. So let's say we want to block Google Chrome. Let's see if we right click the shortcut here and go to Properties. We can see the path there, Program Files, Google Chrome application. So we just need to browse to it. Unfortunately, you can't copy and paste the target in here. Then just click on Block Program once you find it, like so. And then we'll do it for this WinSCP FTP program. It's under Program Files x86, like so. Okay. So now if we try and open Chrome, can't run it. We try and open this, can't run it. Now let's log on as a different user on the computer here. So this computer's a local admin. All right, try the same thing. Like that. All right, let's go back to the other account here. Okay, so let's unblock these. So now let's block a program from the internet using the Windows Firewall. So you could browse, or you could pick one of these. So we let's try the MS Edge, for example. Block program. So now let's try to use Edge here. Trying to go to Google. Internet access is blocked. Now let's go to the other user and see what happens. Okay, let's try Microsoft Edge on this user. Let's see if we could do a search here. Nope, internet access is blocked. Okay, let's go back to the original user here. All right, unblock. And now we're back in business. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download this tool here. Uh, just make sure you keep it handy if you block something. That way you'll be able to unblock it, so don't block something and delete it, because then you might have a problem getting it to work again. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.